Hi guys, and today we are going to be talking about the new Terra Luna Classic Burn. I really thought that I was done with cryptocurrency, but here is another cryptocurrency video because you guys wanted to know how the 1.2% Terra Luna Classic Burn going to affect the Terra Luna Classic coin. All right, and with that, let's get started. Okay, so here is a brief summary of what is actually going on. This is a Medium page by Jamin Mendez, and it reads, Luna Classic, burn it now. Luna Classic has been pumping since August 26, when the platform was finally revived after 76% of the original validators upgraded to the chain's new V22 code, produced by the Terra Rebel. This upgrade not only re-enables staking, but also contains the code for the 1.2% tax slash burn initiative due to be implemented on-chain after a rate vote on September 20th. However, as noted in the recovery document, this on-chain tax slash burn initiative will not have any impact on the centralized exchanges, where a majority of the actual Luna Classic trading takes place. So that means if you guys have your coins on Binance, Coinbase, or any of the other centralized exchanges, they won't have the burn implemented yet. Okay, so with that, let's do some calculations. Okay, so if we look at coin market cap, we can see that the Terra Luna Classic price is at 304362. Right? It has a fully diluted market cap of $3.1 billion with a max supply of 6.9 trillion coins. So if we go to my spreadsheet, which you guys can find with the links in the description below, the coin price here, I put it at 0.0004436. Yearly coin burning is at 0%, annual coin price increases at 0%, and the current supply is 6.9 trillion coins. For me, obviously, I still think that the Terra Luna Classic is still a very, very risky coin, even with the new Terra Rebels. So I think that please only invest what you guys can afford to lose. And for me, I think that I can invest, I can buy around a million coins. A million coins would be worth around $436. Please don't invest too much on it. Maybe a million coins might still be too much. So let's get started. Let's say that yearly you can burn 30% per year. If 30% of TLC is burned every year and the price stays the same, that means that within 10 years you guys would have $10,000. And the coin supply would go from 6.9 trillion coins to 278 billion coins, okay? Now, keep in mind that before the crash, when Terra Luna was at $91, it only had 376 million Luna coins at a market cap of $34 billion. So 278 billion coins is a lot of coins, and that the price would be at one penny. But let's say that the annual price increases, to, let's say 30% per year. In 10 years, the market cap would be $16 billion, the price would be six cents, and your total investment of $434 would be $60,000. Okay, so let's say that the price goes up like crazy because then there's a lot of hype. With an annual price increase of 70% every year and a yearly coin burning of 30%, you guys can expect a TLC to hit $32 billion of market cap in around 70 years. Your investment of $400 would be worth $40,000 with a total coin supply of 811 billion coins. And the price, the price would only be a four cents. Now keep in mind, burning 30% every year is a lot. In order to calculate how much volume TLC has to trade, you would multiply the 30% by the market cap. So if the market cap right now is at $3 billion, for it to burn at 30%, you would take 30 times 3, which is $90 billion. You would have to trade in $90 billion worth of TLC in order to burn 30% of it. Now, keep in mind that at its high point, when it was worth $91, it was only trading around $5 billion every day, which is a lot. Uh, 
But you guys need to understand that the more you burn, the harder it becomes to burn more coins. Obviously, during the first year, it is very easy to burn 30% of the coins. But the more you burn, the more the market, the higher the market cap goes. If the market cap becomes $14 billion, 14 billion times 30 is over $300 billion traded in order to burn 30%. So this becomes very, very difficult the higher the market cap becomes. All right guys, so that's what you guys can expect if Terra Luna just goes crazy with the burns. But please keep in mind that the Terra Luna Classic is still, it still doesn't have a use case yet. Also, what is very necessary is that the central exchanges implement these burns. If Binance, if Coinbase, if the other exchanges do not implement these burns, then that would just make it a lot harder to burn these coins. So with all that in mind, please be very careful about putting too much money into the Terra Luna Classic project. There have been other coins with higher burn rates and none of them have lasted more than three years. Also, Terra Luna Classic has gone up so much that it could very well crash down to where it was before. So be very careful and I wish you guys the best of luck. See you guys next time. Bye.